Hello my friends and welcome back to another video here on Life's Biggest Questions, the channel that looks to answer those burning questions you may have. I'm your host, Jared Bronstein, and before we jump into this video, just a friendly reminder, make sure you're subscribed to our channel so you guys never miss out on answers to a question you might have asked. As always, we encourage you to comment below with a question you've always wanted an answer to, and who knows? We might even answer that question on this channel one day. I'll also be replying to some comments from a previous video at the end of this one. But for now, let's discuss the following. What if all of the rainforests on Earth burn down? There are plenty of rainforests all over the world, with the largest one being the Amazon rainforest. However, there are actually two different types of rainforests, tropical and temperate. And we're going to dive into the difference between the two, how they affect the planet, and what would happen if they all burned down. But before that, let's talk about what a rainforest is in the first place. By definition, it's, I quote, a luxuriant, dense forest rich in biodiversity found typically in tropical areas with consistently heavy rainfall, end quote. They're home to millions and millions of different species, from plants to animals to humans. And they're also incredibly important for our planet because in a sense, they recycle the carbon in the air and turn it into oxygen. So what's the difference between a tropical and temperate rainforest? Location and the species living there. Tropical rainforests, of course, are in the tropics and can be found mostly in South America, which is also where the Amazon rainforest is. Temperate rainforests are usually along the Pacific coast of the US and Canada, and unlike the humid, hot tropics, are known for having cooler temperatures depending on the month. They also, of course, are home to many different species of trees, plants, animals, bacteria, but at the end of the day, they're both considered homes for millions of living beings. So what would happen if all of the rainforests on Earth burned down? Well, we'd be in a lot of trouble. Of course, for starters, we'd have a lot less trees, which would mean a lot less oxygen and a lot more carbon being absorbed into our Earth's atmosphere. This in itself would expedite the process of climate change to the point where the world wouldn't be a place we would want to live. The lack of trees would also lead to extreme weather changes and a lot less rain in general. But there are plenty of other repercussions that would come from all the rainforests burning down. Of course, the absurd amount of harsh smoke that would come from these fires would surely affect surrounding areas. The way the skies of cities in Brazil went completely black because of the recent Amazon rainforest fires. There's also the loss of medicines and possible cures that we still haven't discovered. Although it hasn't happened yet, many believe there is a possible cure for cancer somewhere in the rainforest. Currently, it's believed about 25% of ingredients in modern medicines come from rainforest plants, and some compounds in rainforest forest plants have been used to treat malaria, heart disease, bronchitis, arthritis, and diabetes, among many other health problems. Scientists claim more than 2,000 tropical forest plants have anti-cancer properties, and it's believed that less than 1% of tropical rainforest species have been researched for their medicinal value. If that's not enough, the rainforest is believed to be considered home to half of the Earth's animals and plants, according to the Nature Conservancy. From monkeys to tigers to snakes, frogs, birds, turtles, the list goes on and on. And probably most important of all, there are indigenous tribes that live there. And without a rainforest, they'd be without a home. So it's clear that if we were to lose all the rainforests in the world, not only would the planet see a massive decrease in oxygen and a large increase in carbon, but I think it's safe to say millions of species would go extinct. People would lose their homes, literally, and I'm not sure our planet would ever be able to recover from the sweltering temperatures that would be considered normal. We'd also lose cures for many health problems we've discovered, and who knows how many other remedies we would lose that we've yet to discover. It's evident that rainforests worldwide are essential for a healthy planet, and a habitable one at that. Of course, rainforests Forests are also responsible for cocoa, timber, coffee, a lot of everyday things that we take for granted. Imagine a morning without your coffee, or imagine a world without your home. Depending who you are and where you live, losing the rainforest could mean one or the other. And although the Amazon rainforest has been burning for three weeks, thankfully it's not expected to destroy the entire rainforest. Although the damage will be hard to recover from, losing a piece of the Amazon rainforest is nowhere near as serious as every rainforest in the world burning down. And thankfully, that is something that is not expected to happen anytime soon or ever. Now as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this video in the comments down below. Do you think our planet would be able to survive without any rainforests at all? Let me know why or why not in the comments down below. Personally, I think the world would be destroyed within a few days, assuming somehow they were all burned down simultaneously. But on a lighter note, Let's reply to some comments from the video we did titled, What if mosquitoes went extinct? Old Hunter Tom said, Some of you may die, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to take. Alright Hunter Tom, I see what you did there, but my question for you now is, what if you were one of the people that died? Is that still a risk you'd be willing to take? Like, how do you know you're safe? Polly the bird said, Thor, what did you do? Thanos, I just killed all mosquitoes. Imagine that, if you could kill all the mosquitoes with a snap of a finger. <laughs> Boy Felix said, Off would go out of business. Of course, he's talking about the bug spray off that is a repellent for mosquitoes. And uh, 
I'll be honest with you guys. I think they should go out of business anyways, because I use off and I still get mosquito bites, so obviously it doesn't work. <laughs> and that does it for this one, guys. I've been your host, Jared Bronstein. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a good old thumbs up. If you guys really enjoyed it a lot, make sure you share it with a friend, and let me know their thoughts as well. As always, we love hearing from you guys, so drop us some comments with some questions that you guys want answered. Make sure that you're subscribed to our channel so you guys never miss a video, and also hit that bell so you guys get notified when we post more videos. Here's to hoping all the rainforests all over the world are safe for a very, 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 very long time, if not forever. I've been your host, Jared Bronstein, and we'll see you in the next one.